I reckon I can get to the top in the next 10 seconds. One, two, three. How do you turn it off? Lake Gardner. So we have come here to camp tonight. It's absolutely beautiful. We're actually on the river side, not on the lake side because it was full. So it's free camp. It's 45 minutes from Cradle Mountain. So we're going to stay here tonight, get up early, uh, get the first shuttle hopefully. Joss and I are going to do the Marion lookout. Flynn and Joss's dad will do the summit. Um, we're not feeling that energized. Yeah. It's like seven to nine hours return, so no thanks. And yeah, it's, it's such a nice little spot. We've got fire going. And there's other camping over there. So yeah, that's the main campsite there. Um, I think it appeals to a lot of people because they can put their boats in um, into the lake. Uh, I'm assuming there's like good trout fishing in the dam. I'm not too sure. This is more than perfect for us. We saw another platypus. Tell them who spotted it. <laughs> Just did. <laughs> yeah, I've got to... Uh, I know the platypus behavior pretty well now. I've seen three. Actually, this is our fourth. Yeah. But yeah, he was motoring along. Megan took a good video from the bridge. <laughs> we had to wait all day. <laughs> oh, why? Because I don't want to be on camera today. Stop. Stop. <laughs> We are at Cradle Mountain National Park. We got off at Ronnie Creek. Ronnie Creek. So this is where all the wombats are, but we're here, I think it's like 8.30 or something, so they'll be all snoozing right now. Lots of poop. But Joss and I are gonna head up and do Marion's Lookout. So it's about four hour walk, and then we'll make our way down to Dove Lake. Super excited to be here. Hopefully we see a wombat later this afternoon. Seeing that I'm not unfit, I'm just gonna really observe. Look, I feel like I've got deja vu. Have you done this before? No, nah, never. I think he's done this before. Let me think. Where is another very big uphill walk? Kings Canyon. No, yes, you did the exact same thing. Well, what an idiot. Fuck, I'm already bugging. <laughs> You've done like three steps. It's more a mental thing, like seeing how steep it is and you're like, oh my god. It's not that bad. See, that could be the trap. And there's a chain up here apparently. Oh yeah. So that's Crater Lake. To tie your bike up. <laughs> Who'd be bringing a bike up here? <laughs> I think I saw a whale. Stop and check if there's a whale, Megan. Look. Is there a whale? No. I reckon I can get to the top in the next 10 seconds. Here's the boat. One, two, three. How do you turn it off? <laughs> Nearly there. 10 minutes. 10 minutes. 10 minutes, five minutes in my book. Eight, nine, ten. We're at the top. 
Maybe lots of other people. We made it! And no one's here. Is that because they're all going to the summit? Yeah, but we're too lazy. I don't think all, everyone's going to the summit though. Yeah, I think most people are just going a little bit further. But anyways, this is super nice. We just talked to some um, really lovely ladies that took some photos for us. And they did this yesterday and they got to this point and they couldn't even see the summit. And they were trying to they hike. They couldn't even see the lake, she said. It was oh, yeah. so much cloud. They said they couldn't even see the lake down here below us. And it was there. Did she say it was raining or just cloudy? Cloudy. But yeah, it's a really good view. So I've done the overland track before, but and I would have come past this, but I really can't remember it. I did it in high school, but you can see like the boathouse down there. We will do that after this, and yeah, it's, it's, it's awesome. So we've just walked a bit further up the track past Marion's Lookout, just to get a better view of. We probably should have filmed the GoPro out there. Hang on. So we probably just walked past it like another 300 meters, 400 meters, um, just to get a better view of the actual whole cradle mountain itself. So we're heading back down now to Dove Lake. Dove Lake. After you leave Marion's lookout on the descent, there's an alternate route which is quite steep. The lady at the visitor center described it as a goat track, yeah. but um, no, these are pretty big goats if these are goat track. I've seen some goat tracks in my time and this is a pretty well defined goat track but it does get steep apparently she said to um, go down it but not up it so we're going to go down it slowly and it joins up to the Dove Lake uh, walk near the boat shed. I mean so. it can't be as bad as going down main, Mount Amos. No, Amos. No it can't be that bad. As long as it doesn't rain in between now and we get down to the bottom. So let's do it. She didn't say there was a chain on this one, hey? Yeah. She should have. Um, also, I feel like Amos should have a chain. <laughs> yeah. We survived the goat track. Wasn't that bad. Um, chains pretty much the whole way, and then now this bit's nice and boarded all the way down to the lake. So we're going to come out pretty much at the boat house or just above it. Boat um, shed. Boat shed, sorry. And then going to go to the starting point and meet Joss's mum and do the circuit down here with her. The rain seems to have gone, which is nice. There's the lake. Sausages? Worse. Dog it, food. Spaghetti and meatballs. Yeah, it's 395. We've left Crater Mountain, where we stayed last night, um, heading further down the west coast, heading towards Strawn. So we'll go through um, some little towns um, today. Um, and then, yeah, we'll spend the night in Strawn and then continue down the west coast heading towards Hobart. We are driving, we're trying to drive up to Mount Wellington and it's an absolute car park. Traffic jam at the top. Yeah. Yes, doing a million heel starts just to try and get a glimpse. Really beautiful day today, so I think that's why it's so busy. It's finally not in the clouds. It's so stit high. Show out there. <laughs> Show out there. <laughs> it's fucking high up here. On our way to get the Sea Link Ferry over to Bruny Island. I'm super excited, I've wanted to do this one for a while. Not the best weather today, but I'm sure it'll still be nice. We just camped back at Gordon, beautiful free camp right on like a little inlet. Apparently at like low tide you can like walk out and get the oysters and eat them straight from there, but um, the tide was in while we were there. So it's only a 20 minute drive from that camp up to the terminal. We haven't bought a pre boarded ticket, so we're just going to line up. We're with Joss's family and they've got a bigger motorhome, so they said just to line up and you'll get put on. So yeah, we'll show you what, we don't know if we'll do two nights or three nights yet, um, but yeah, we'll show you what there is to do over at Bruni. Bit of a wait. <laughs> Bit of a line.
Was that fun? Yeah. <laughs> Filled in like a minute. First stop on the Bruni Island <laughs> trip is the Get Shucked Oysters. So I've been told we need to get the Panko Crumbed Oysters. So I am super keen on them. Are you gonna get anything? the Bruni food trail is the cheese, beer and bread. I don't know actually what it's called. Behind you. But there's um, someone directing traffic so that's how, <laughs> that's how busy it is. Number three, Bruni Island Honey. the Bruni Hotel. We've managed to find a little spot at Jetty Beach. So it's not a free camp. It is just a national park um, designated spot. So I haven't paid yet, but um, probably the same as last night, yeah, isn't it? Will be. $10 per person or something like that. So um, yeah, we'll go pay for that soon. Um, there's just drop toilets here. Um, fair bit of space, really. Yeah, just yeah. gotta get in early. Just get in early to get a good site. Um, they're pretty uneven, so um, that also maybe dictate where you go, but then just a little walk down the bush to the beach. 